Do I have to reset my OBS settings? I'm using a bit more data than I'm used to. I don't like that. Uh, maybe I'll fix it later. But anyway, hey, I'm Phineas K. Slider. We're going to be smashing some bots today. Where's my face cam? Uh, hold it. I have so many of these. You have no idea how many scenes I have on this thing. There I am. Oh, wait. There I am. Hey! Anyway, it's Smash Brothers. We're going to be fighting bots. Viewers can come in and pick stuff for me later. If they feel like coming in. Yeah, let's go. Papaya's theme music's awesome. Fucking love accordions. I had to put extra sugar in my tea because I didn't make it sweet enough this time. Pick you up later. That's tasty. Oh, that's noisy. Fifteen will do. There we go. No, no tournaments today. I'm just here to mess around. Why do I call it H uh, 3v5 if it's just a 4v4? Eh. I'm not changing it, I don't even care. What's this thing? Oh, these are my emotes. That I got because cool people like to give me subs sometimes. Let's see, where do we want to go? Today I want to go to the train. And I also want to go to... You know what, fuck it. <laughs> it just reminds me of this shit post I saw on YouTube. Featuring the uh, fish from Spongebob. <laughs> Who the hell do I play as right now? You know what? Fuck it. I haven't played as Pirate and Nisa on stream in a while. If I play with the skin though, I might get confused. So I'm gonna play with my blue children. <laughs> and I'll never not bring in Fit Waifu just because she's good at this. And player four can be. Isabelle is my favorite pink card again. Yeah, sure. At least till someone comes in and changes my mind. Let's do it. Ganondorf. And the Metroid Prime is here too. I know you call yourself Dark Samus, but I know who you are. You're Metroid Prime. 
I thought Samus settled us the last time. And the time before that. Actually, how many times you come back, Metroid Prime? But I want to know. You just refuse to die, you're like Ridley. And while we're on that conversation topic. Oh, right, I'm supposed to be Mithra right now because my teammate is Pyra. Oh, she switched, so I switched too. Oh, she didn't switch. Oh, she switched back. See, typically I switch when I die, but if my teammate is Pyra and Mitha, I'm just the person that they're not. But anyway, on the topic of Ridley and Metroid and stuff, Other M gets a lot of flack for, like, its presentation and the way that it, like, Oh, that fucking Galaga. And the way that it like represents Samus, and I'm just like, okay, but here's my counterpoint. She's still human. Humans are allowed to have emotions. But also, I recognize that perhaps maybe she shouldn't have gone PTSD upon seeing Ridley for the 24th time. That wasn't a very realistic response. And I'll admit to that. Hey, Phosphor. <laughs> Where am I? Oh. Other than that, though, I didn't really have any beef with the story from Other M. Other than the whole gameplay mechanic of, I can't use my shit because Adam told me not to. That was a bit of a, uh, that was a bit of a bold decision, to put it mildly. But I'm like... Because, like, we are still an independent contractor. Ah! And we should be able to make our own decisions independently from our former section commander. But I guess she still respects him enough, I suppose. And trusts that he has a perfectly legitimate reason for this decision. Good job, Pyra. And of course she's remarkably fond of him. He's the father figure she never got to have, you know? What with both her real parents and her foster parents being taken away from her by the same entity. Can we talk about that too? Why is there really- I'm indignified. Why is there only one organization of space pirates in the entire galaxy, you know? Or, like... If Trace is his own group of space pirates, where the fuck, where the fuck are the rest of them? You know. Spire, he has an excuse because I think it's Spire. Because he is literally the last of his kind. Oh, hey, Keith, you're interested in my raid sponsorship? I'd really appreciate it, fella. Be aware that. If you make the account and then swatch, swap over the mobile and then connect it there, for some reason, 
it doesn't give you the uh, the uh, special goodie bag that it's supposed to. The promo code should still work though. It's right up there. But yeah, I'd really appreciate it. Also, how you doing, big guy? I saw you changed your name on Discord, unless that's some other bird. And if so, that's an interesting choice for a name. <laughs> Which, I mean, either way, it's an interesting choice for a name. And yes, I use the, uh... Far, uh, the, uh, what the fuck is it called? The uh, whatever version of this map, because this map kind of sucks, but I like the music. I will not 1v1 anyone on the Spirit Train, because the Spirit Train map kind of sucks. <laughs> uh, ah! I just got back! Ah! Hey, we're winning. <laughs> I was so enthralled in my, uh, tirade about space pirates and other M that I didn't even realize that we were winning. Which I mean, I should be surprised that I'm winning. This is the character that I'm used to using and I know a lot about this character. Now I'm supercharged! You gotta make up your mind, bot. Do you want to be Pyra or Mithra? Because I will change to compensate for that. <laughs> ah! I couldn't tell who threw that bomb. <laughs> I still can't stop thinking about the Silver Gunner version of this song. It's so silly and interesting. Dang it, I really want to hit him with my final smash. <clears throat> oh, either way, I shall. did that to you? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> yeah. ah! <laughs> My ass. I'm just screaming and go. <laughs> Ow. <coughs> I have to keep an eye on Pyra because she doesn't stay Pyra for long. Or is it that she stays Pyra for too long so I don't get to play as Pyra? I think that's it. I fixed my BTTV stuff. For some reason it was turned off. I have no idea why. Ah! Where'd the yellow plane go? Ow! Ow! I am in pain. I'm already on my last life. Don't you fucking cheerleader kick me, Ganondorf. I'm in pain. This could kill me. Yeah. Ah, ah. Fuck. <sighs> Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> ah! Who? And of course they killed me. I always have the most deaths on my team, but I'll usually have the most kills. Let's get them. Somehow Ganondorf had the most lives on his team. I don't understand how that works. No, Ronin, go home! Ronin, go home! I don't want you here. Did he call you killed yourself? Ronin, please. Ronin, please! Get away from me already. Oh, I'm dead again. <laughs> Damn you, Ronin. I have a very interesting problem. I don't know if it was what I ate yesterday, and that it came out, but like... For some reason, the muscles inside my bum kind of hurt when I cough. I mean, they kind of hurt in general, but they also hurt worse when I cough. Might have just been because I ate those weird noodles. They were a bit on the spicy side. And you know what spicy stuff does to your bum, you know? Any stages in particular, Keith? Or any suggestions in general, I take suggestions. <coughs> mm. But anyway. Where the fuck is that one stage? There it is. This is a good song. You're also here. Okay, playing as Pyra and Mitha when we already have Pyra and Mitha was an interesting idea, but I don't think I want to do that again. I'm gonna check my processor real quick, see if it's doing that stupid shit again. Interestingly weird, huh? How do you figure? Green Hill Zone? Okay, sure. I 
I'm not sure what song you'd pick for this, but Green Hill Zone indeed. If we're playing on Green Hill Zone, why don't I play a Sonic? Since I'm kind of at a loss for who else to play as anyway. <laughs> I like these cool Chaos Emerald themed bracelets he's got on, uh, bracers he's got on this thing. Yeah, they look like Chaos Emeralds really quick. Who just laughed at me? Was it Wadio? Yep. 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 Who keeps stopping me in the middle of my dash? Oh shit, who's going for a ride? Pyro was going for a ride. Oh, I'll take advantage of his speed to grab all the assist trophies. I'm pretty sure the three fastest land travelers in the game now are Sonic, uh, Mithra, and I'm not sure who the third guy is. I know Captain Falcon used to be pretty fast, but like, comparatively to the other characters in the game, not much anymore. There are faster people than Captain Falcon now. What have I done to myself? Go, go! I wanna go for a ride, go, go. Come back. Go, go, I wanna go for a ride. I know that Sonic and Mewtwo are two of the fastest characters in the game still, though. Well, Sonic specifically. He's got good lean traveling speed. I know Little Mac's high up there, but I don't think he's one of the fastest either. <coughs> oh, great, we're screwed because Nikki's here. That was a swing and a miss there, Wadio. Ah, the iconic song. I actually first heard this song in uh, Sonic. Uh, what the fuck? Was it? What the fuck was that? Uh, uh, Sonic Advance Three, which was actually the first Sonic game I'd ever played. This is uh, they use a uh, alternate version of this song for the uh, World Two in that game, Sunset Hill. A uh, more modern version. And I liked it in that game too. Oh great, Devil Mishima. Ow! In that game it's more orchestrated. Or orchestral, or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Damn, Mars with the fucking double kill over here. It's my star man. He was waiting in the sky for me. Jesus. I really do gotta learn how to acclimate myself with Sonic. I'm not used to being able to run that fast. Oh, Starman, he got that just for me. And then I got it knocked out of me. Embarrassing. My frame rate doesn't seem the best right now. Looking at it on my OBS uh, console, it doesn't seem like I'm getting the best frame rate. 
I can see the skipping. It's like 15 or 20 frames per second. Which, I mean, it's still watchable, but you can tell. your bike into the abyss do you ever <laughs> Ew. Uh, God, dude, I really gotta figure out how to recover with Sonic I'm used to being able to use my uh, what the fuck's it called uh, photon edge Get donated. Nope, is dead. Oof. Yeah. This or club I'm okay with because it doesn't feel cheaty. I always toss the gust cannon because fuck the gust cannon. That item feels cheaty. Double Mishima Wad. Oh. But yeah, concerning my raid sponsorship, I'm only really supposed to have to recruit two people, but I do get a pretty big bonus if I can get ten of you guys. When I helped someone else with that sponsorship, they needed five, but like, they're all so much bigger than me. So I guess they took the size of my channel into account. Who else is getting pranked? Oh god, I got pranked! <laughs> Shit, I got pranked. The feeling when the warp star pranks you? Overall, just an indignifying experience. <laughs> Banjo, you bitch bear. I'm sending you back to Brazil. <laughs> That's what you get. Covered. Hell yeah! <laughs> oh, and by the way, Keith. It really doesn't matter to me if you eat the crayons, but I'm going to warn you, it's probably not good for your digestion. <laughs> the 
The fact that I can give VIP to all my regulars should imply to you exactly how many regulars I have. So I'm pretty sure no one else is using those crayons. Just beware of the impending tummy ache if you do, though. Alright. But anyway, where to now? Let's take a look. Hey, where I want to go? I want to go here. We're on the subject of songs with lyrics hmm. <gasps> any suggestions Keith wait hold on there we go I actually do like the vanilla version of this stage looks good I will only go here if I can put it in the battlefield form. Oh, the stage! Where the fuck is he? You think he'd be next to the little link? Where the fuck is he? He's not even over here by Sheik or Zelda. What the fuck? Oh. I rather like this one. hurting her. I love how the upward and downward stabs from uh, Zelda 2 are in here. That's a vintage reference. I have also love how they work functionally the same way as well. Okay, you can stay down there, Squirtle. Oh god, no! Squirtle, why didn't you stay down there? Hey, where's your trainer? Oh shit, my sword beams when I don't have any damage. That's a cool, that's a freaking cool ass reference too. Who got the fucking ghost? I think I just blew myself up. <laughs> I don't know shit about this character. <laughs> I also love the new remix. I just realized before his final smash he pulls out the uh, ancient bow. With an ancient arrow, which should pragmatically insta kill any of the one you shoot it with, but I guess I can't make any like complaints because that would make his final smash very overpowered. Oh, ow. My lack of experience with this character is evident. Mostly I have to take advantage of the fact that Link's a heavy type and it's harder to knock away as a result. Also, the util whoever got the Rothalos, I love you. You're amazing. Also, the utility of his tools and weapons. Uh, 
Oh, mega growth. See, honestly, my little cousin knows more about playing Link than I do. Link's his man. Specifically, he likes Demon Shadow Link. Sothus? Oh, no Sothus. Every time a Fire Emblem character does it's their final smash and it's not Marth or Roy, I expect Sothus. <laughs> Wait, I thought Crop's Final Smash was Sothus. I don't know it's, it's his little friends. Or did he miss? Pyong! Where is the trainer and is it the male one? I can't tell. Yeah, it's the male one. I am disappointed. No pranks for me. Kukamuku. <laughs> Not hammer time. Oh, I didn't know you can bounce on him too. I knew you could throw him. Oh shit, Dylan. Dylan, fuck off. I die. Ow! Give me that. You don't respect it enough. Ow. Oh. Uh, you guys can fight over that one. I don't want... Ah! It flew at me because it knew I didn't want it. I don't want to be on that side of the stage right now. Lindis! Who had Lindis? Okay, so Kroms isn't Sothus. Is it a downgraded version of Marth's? Hey, Alucard. It just seems like a weaker version of Marth's. Especially by virtue of the fact that it didn't kill me. I can charge my sword spin now. That's pretty freaking pod. <laughs> That's a Gordo. What did you just say about Link? Whatever it was, I assume it was something good. Hey, Crystal. How you doing, girl? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Was it we like Link? Like how they used to say we like Ike? Pretty sure they still do that too. I just don't I just don't pick Ike these days. With over 70 characters, it's hard to play all of them, you know? Yep. Ah! That was a good dodge, DDD. Very good dodge. Excellent work, friend. Ah! Ow! Is my child. 
It's my child! Woogie woogie woogie! Ah! Excuse me, I'm trying to blow up that crate so it doesn't blow us up. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like the Sheikah bombs are inflaming. Incendiary. You know, the Zelda series does seem like it takes place in a very distant future. Simply due to the fact that, like... In Breath of the Wild, the rubber set is the uh, last bit, last piece of... Uh, the uh, last remaining source of... Uh, like, the blood of blood of blood of rubber in the entire world. Rubber doesn't even exist anymore, which implies that petrol doesn't exist. So it seems like the Zelda universe takes place in a distant future where we've all consumed all the oil in the ground. So the ingenious Sheikah design, designs technology to lower our dependence on uh, fossil fuels. <laughs> At least that's my take on the whole experience. Oh, I might go. Oh, I'm eaten. I'm not even going to try to break out. He's just going to straight up eat me. I have no idea what horrors uh, exist underneath BBQ's little sack, but. I think it's best that I don't see. <laughs> For all I know, it could be the baby from Resident Evil 8. <laughs> One of the most disturbing things I've ever seen in my life, by the way. That was a triple hit, and I'm quite ha I'm quite pleased with that. Very proud. They all tried to come up on me while I was charging my sword spin. Was it luck or instincts? I don't know. I don't want to be on the side. Damn you! I'm alive. Oof. Get him! <laughs> oh, come on! Yeah, I'm alive. Who got that giddy him? Aha! One of our friends got giddy him. I was reading reviews for an old game I used to. I, I played at my friend's house, like. often. called Brink. And the reviews reminded me of one of the game's major problems. Playing the single player campaign is difficult because your allied bots run around like headless chickens and the enemy bots will always focus on you specifically. Making the single player campaign extremely difficult to complete. Unless you build in a very specific way. Ow.
I'd like to flash back to when I said that Krom's final smash is basically Marth and Royce, but weaker. <laughs> this defeat shall not stand. I shall remember who you all are. And I'll come back. I want revenge. I'm never going to remember which costume Krom is using. I kind of want to run it back. We'll try that again. Uh, where the fuck? Why do I always lose this man? He's not even wearing the Sheikah set. He shouldn't have maximum stealth. Who <laughs> is player two? Yeah, you with the blue Charizard. Come on down. And then wherever Red Peach is. Yes. Crom, where the hell are you? The problem with there being so many characters. And I say this every time I stream this game. So many characters and stages is that these screens become a game of where's Waldo. I believe it's that costume. And DDD was just DDD. Where's the duck? Penguin. Where's the puck? Uh -huh. Let's go revenge. We'll run it back. <laughs> oh, if it works for you, it works for me, friend. You are technically the only other person I need to do this. Because I already have a friend helping me out with this a little venture. In a perfectly legitimate way, by the way. Uh, she's not smurfing. She's actually a new player. I would not encourage people to smurf just so I can get the sponsorship because... One, that's dishonorable, and two, I'm not sure I can legally condone that. And three, because it's dishonorable. If I'm going to do this sponsorship, I'm going to do it the legitimate way. And encourage anyone watching to do the same. Is it King Deity's fancy hammer that does the lasers? Because the idea of the sponsorship is to get new people to play. And that is what I'm getting paid to do. For all intents and purposes. 
I just died to her stupid fucking umbrella. Oh my goodness. Uh, I don't want to be on the ground. Okay, now I'm okay with being on the ground. Oh, the lasers are from the Pokemon trainer. I'm an idiot. That's him recalling his Pokemon. If I can come up with 10 bucks by Thursday, I might do part two of that sponsorship where I do a shot opening stream. Because that's part that was also part of the deal. Well, as a bonus objective. I can get an extra twenty bucks if I can uh, if I spend ten dollars on shards and then just do a shard opening stream. Though I really don't care about that bonus objective. If it happens, it happens. If not, then it's just about another $10 profit, so I don't even care. <laughs> Ow! Nah! Don't touch me. If you want to be honest, taking this sponsorship wasn't really even about the money. It was about the fact that Stream Elements said that if I take the sponsorship, I might, uh, if I'm successful in this sponsorship, it might open me up to more sponsorships in the future. Which sounds pretty pog. I'm excited about that. Yeah! <laughs> And no, I am not, I will not say that Raid's a bad game, it's just like, everyone's sponsoring Raid. It's kind of the gateway sponsor, you know? In fact, I really don't have any beef with Raid. It's a decently designed game. It stands out quite, quite well in a market saturated with the same type of mobile game. It's got quirks that set it apart. Their version of the triangle may take some uh, time to get used to, but... Other than that, I do like the other ways that it set, set it apart from the... Uh, I like the other things that set it apart from uh, other mobile games of its type. <coughs> I especially enjoy that you can just, you can get summon shards simply just from idle farming. Usually you have to go to the, the actual, like, store to get the, uh, stuff required to, uh, summon, uh, other... I'm sure you know what I mean. Most other games put that stuff in the store. But like, the fact that you can get summon shards from farming incentivizes people to actually play the game. Which is actually a pretty big brain move on their part.
Yeah, it does have a few very, very interesting quirks, and that's what I think sets the part. But then again, I just went on that tirade. I don't like repeating myself when I can help it. I don't want to be on this side. There's a bomber man over here. Oh, great. Now he's over here. Ah! Bomber man, I'm going to beat the shit out of you. Bomber man, are you still here? I'm going to beat the shit out of you. <laughs> yeah! I don't think I've seen Peach's final smash enough in these fights. I mean, does she even final smash? I thought it was time for a stage morph. Oh, Lindis! We got Shovel Knight. I had to. It was too tempting of a fruit for me not to go out and grab it. Oh! <laughs> I deserved that. <laughs> I deserved to get spiked into the canyon for what I did to him. But here's the thing, DD, I'll fucking do it again. <laughs> fucking epic. That's what karma looks like. Krom's really is just a weaker version of Marth's. Where the fuck am I? I'm gonna reap the duck. Yeah, I reaped the duck. Okay, I killed you and I apologize. That was my fault. I have no reason to do anything else other than just sit here and spam arrows. Alright, we have been vindicated. Good job. Oh, we are with it. Now, let's see here. <laughs> Where's the Tomodachi life stage? There we go. We can listen to it, but like, hey, don't steam songs here. That's cool. That's the one I want. Because everyone loves this song. <laughs> I 
I would play as a me character if I had one made of me. The other kids who play this game like to make me fighters, but I don't really, I don't really care about that. If I was a me fighter though, I'd probably be a brawler, which means let's go Little Mac. I watch a guy on YouTube who vehemently believes that all of your problems can be solved with fisting. When he was still playing League of Legends, he was a Vi man. She was his favorite. And she's a good champion too, especially if you build her correctly. She used to be majorly broken. I think they patched her. Nah! Double kill. Hell yeah, say my name, brothers. <laughs> About to be a SmackDown in Max Town. <laughs> Which makes me wonder, here's a random ass thought, did Randy Savage just used to be the mascot for Slim Jims or did he just like them a lot? Isabel, please throw that thing away, I hate the gust cannon, even if it's one of my teammates using the thing, I despise them. Oh great, Abra gonna get me fucked up in the crib. <clears throat> Eating okie dokies! I may have lost, be, missed you with my final smash, but my KO punch will still hit. <laughs> ah! Oh! Oh! <laughs> All of the hideous noises. Hey Keith, have you been watching Spy X Family? It's a good freaking, it, it's a good anime. In episode 4 or 5, some fat cunt gets punched in the face. It's beautiful. Wait, were you there when I had this conversation with Nomizu? Because I think you were. <laughs> Everyone loves this fucking song. I'm glad I took a break from it, so I can't, so I'm not tired of it anymore. Back when everyone was fucking memeing on this song, I didn't like it just because everyone was memeing on it and I was getting annoyed. I would have liked if they'd also put Asgore's theme in here. But, you know, take what you can get. Make a Smash Brothers, uh, Smash Brothers like, but you get to play as Undertale characters. <laughs> ah! <laughs> my KO punch, beautiful. Even if I miss my final smash, my KO punch will still kill you. I didn't realize I was holding the star rod. I thought I could throw him. Ow! Ow. 
Andy Slavage was a Slim Jim. <laughs> Randy Savage was a Slim Jim. <laughs> <laughs> There's only like six episodes so far, so you're not that far behind. It's a good one, I promise you. And also, your is very waifu. A super attractive lady with a super attractive personality. You will not regret wifing her. She is my number two of all time. Because I am a stubborn fool who is set in my ways. My number one is from a very obscure and kind of like hit or miss anime. Involving an academy where students are taught how to drive mechs. It was never exactly a classic because it was one of those hit or miss types that you either love or you hate. To be fair, the protagonist is either dumb as a box of rocks or good at pretending that he is. Very emotionally insensitive person. The age old trope where he's got like six girls crushing on him, but he doesn't have any idea what's going on. <laughs> Maybe he has such, just has such low self esteem that he couldn't consider anyone being attracted to him. Because there are people out there like that. Pet <coughs> me. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I got a bug in my throat. Oh, I forgot you can wall jump, little Mac. That's super fucking cool. Windows PowerShell, what have you done to me? Whatever it is, I'm not afraid of them. Even the duck. You know, I realized I didn't switch the characters because I'm an idiot. Oh, power show went away. Thank you. I was wondering when you'd close on your own. Are you kidding me? How dare you pick the worst possible moment to do that? Oh, I know who's talking back there. I need to learn how to recognize voices. Over the phone, I'll hear someone who I'm used to holding conversations with and I'll just be like, wait, who the heck is this? <laughs> I'm bad at recognizing voices. Scared. Just gonna stay down here. <laughs> I'm 
Screw attacking! Yeah! Screw attacks. Okay, my screw attacks won't all. Man, I had a KO punch and everything. <laughs> I have time for one more of these. No, 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 no. Okay. Let's go. For the final match, let's... I think I know what I want. And you know what else? Yeah, sure. much about the Persona series, but I do know that it's got bomb-ass music in it. I think I'll play as Lucas for this one. ever permitted Callie to play Persona 3? If they didn't, then they're fucking sleeping and they should totally let Callie play Persona 3. Mm -hmm. Oh god, Steve's here. God damn it, Steve. Why can't you just keep your nose in your own damn business? Will I ever stop humming slash singing inanely? Probably not. I like music too much. Ever since I first w I listened to Breaking the Habit by Linkin Park, I've always known how much I love music. A world without music would be extremely bland and boring. I'd always feel like I was missing something, even if I wasn't, I'd never be entirely sure what. Part of the reason I want to be a singer, even if I'm not very good at it right now, At some point, I'm, well, probably later today, I'm probably going to record another song cover and post on my Twitter. It's going to, it's going to sound mediocre like all my stuff does, but like, you know what, fuck it. That's the beauty of songs, you can just recover them, you can just redub them when you, uh, get better at singing. Reduxes exist. My arm pits at you. I am the Lord. I am the King. Ah! Fuck you and your sword. And your dirt blocks too. Ow, someone hit me. 
Oh, Joker's actually here. That's hilarious. Ah, oh, shit. Ow. The angle could have been better on that. Ugh, I did it. Ow, Cloud killed me. Maybe I don't want to go for a ride right now. <laughs> ah, shit, Midna. No, 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 no. The fucking space, eh? Any veteran of Smash Brothers or Dark Souls will tell you that spacing is extremely important. That one and a half inches of space makes all the difference. Nine times out of ten. I'm trying to be in the air so I can do this. All right, let's go. Another anime recommendation I have for you is Assassination Classroom. The last season gets really deep, and then the second to last episode, I, like, actually, like, cried the hardest I have in, like, a decade. Shit'll hit you hard. I'm almost ready to tear up just thinking about it. But, like, no spoilers. Go watch it yourself. It's a good anime. Even though it, it does end about the way you'd expect it to. It's not quite a spoiler, it's just how the anime was supposed to end. I mean, they, are, they, they, they kind of say it up from the outset that Cora was supposed to die. So I wouldn't call it a spoiler. The ending's basically given away in the first episode. Ow. That son of a bitch. Hey, son of a bitch. Come here. Ah, I'm being taken away! Ah! Fucking minecart. It's funny. Because that's how livestock works in Minecraft. You can shove them in carts too. <laughs> it's kind of funny. <laughs> Jigglypuff's final smash continues to be useless on larger stages. I feel like the frame rate stabilized finally. On my OBS anyway. Thanks, friend. I needed that pukamuku. Ow! I'm in pain. I'm being attacked by flying swords. Ow! To the sky I go. the sky I go! <laughs> Let's see you dodge this! Ah, oh, I kind of just let her take that. It's kind of funny. Did 
The N64 version of the power-up thing will always be the best one. Da -da 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 -da. Fit waifu, I do appreciate how good you are at getting assist trophies. She's generally just a good, uh, a, a good character player. Uh, good. What do you call these guys? I'm just gonna call them heroes. That's what I'm used to calling ca uh, playable characters in these games. They're heroes. Oh, I really wanted to smack him in the face. You can see me trying. Of you, probably not. Honestly, I've heard enough about you that I really don't like you, Morgana. What if you want to study, but Cat Friend says maybe it's time to sleep? How dare you do that to my friend? Jigglypuff, you basically just screwed yourself, and I'll tell you why. <laughs> uh, I, mean, uh, I was about to say, Pyro, can I have that? But she's just like, yeah, no, this is mine. What Pyro wants, Pyro gets. <clears throat> oh, now it's mine, and I want to get rid of it. that thing out of him. Ow. No singing on stream. Not real music. Not yet. Besides, no one's even get dawning up here. I'm sorry, I looked up at your, uh, like,